Transformers Dark Side of the Moon, was it mind blowing or did it suck? Can another Transformers movie be made without Megan Fox? What are we gonna do? Ow! We will cover all this and more in the movie review. One, two, three, let's go! Well, as you can see, I saw the movie in 3D, which was awesome. So the movie starts out in 1969 and it's got a beautiful sequence of the moon landing, yes, the real moon landing, and they mix it with the Transformers story, which was brilliant. It immediately sucks you in, oh, yes. Amazing cast this time around. You had cameos from people like John Malkovich and Ken Jeong. You probably know Ken Jeong from, of course, The Hangover, yes, part one and part two as Mr. Chow. But now for our previous question, can a Transformers movie be made without Megan Fox in it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Oh my God, that was a little tear came from my eye. <laughs> that was really funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. Her replacement is Victoria's Secret supermodel, Rosie Huntington Whitley. She is absolutely gorgeous and she's not a bad actor either. And her lips are actually real. Mm. Take that, Megan Fox. Mm. See, my problem with Fox is she's incredibly full of herself. She's also incredibly dumb, which my friends is a dangerous combination. I love some of the comments in the movie about Fox's character because it's basically, they mention her uh, in sort of a roundabout way, talking about her, obviously to the audience, she's not the girlfriend anymore, so they kind of have to explain it. But I thought it was done beautifully because you could almost see Michael Bay, I mean, you could literally hear him mention things. In your face? Bitch. What's she gonna do about it? I thought it was hilarious. Now the action is mind blowing in this movie. I think it's awesome. It's incredibly well done. There is a lot of information going on, so it's a, like a lot to take in, but it's still awesome. I don't understand why a lot of people, I've been hearing this a lot, is when they go to a Transformer movies, they come out and they're like, you know what, it was good, but it was just too much action. That's like going to an Adam Sandler movie and going, you know what, the movie was awesome, but I just, I laughed too hard. It was too funny. Of course there's gonna be a lot of action. It's an action movie. Like, in like one of the best action movies ever, okay? <laughs> now as for Shia LaBeouf, I have been his, a fan of his, and I've probably said this before, but I've been a fan of his for a very long time. Back in the day, he was on the show called Even Stevens. Yes, he was like right in the middle of puberty. He was like 14 years old. I thought he was hot, rocking the Hebrew fro. Nice. I was 14 myself at the time, so that type of guy was like, yeah. <laughs> but I think Shia does an awesome job at all the Transformer movies. I think this one's probably, probably like the best, I would say, so far. It is good. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and give Transformers Dark Side of the Moon four and a half out of five stars. Ah. All right guys, that's it for me on my review of Transformers Dark Side of the Moon. Now it's time to hear from you. What did you think? Did you think it was awesome? Did you think it sucked? Was it the best one ever? What did you think? I would love to hear it. Make sure you put it in the comments. All right guys, that's it for me. I will see you in the next video.